is how to use an if statement when analyzing data. So right here we have a um, small class and the different grades that they made on certain exams and homeworks. And what we're going to do first is use an if statement to categorize these grades as either passing or failing. And to do that, we're going to be using the function if. So very simple, just equals if. And then a parentheses. And what you have here is your logical test, your value if true, and your value if false. And so if we're doing a pass or a fail system, then anything above or equal to a 70 is a pass, and anything below a 70 is a fail. And so our logical test will look something like this. So we go ahead and take our corresponding cell, and we say if this cell is greater than or equal to a 70, that is our logical test. If it is greater than or equal to a 70, do a comma, then we do our value of true. If it is greater than or equal to a 70, then that is a pass. And now you do a comma and you do your value if it's false. So if it is not greater than or equal to 70, that means it is not passing. That means it is less than that and is therefore a fail. And when you're plugging in your uh, value of true or value of false, include the quotations because that means it will input that phrase into the cell. And then end it. There we go. And so we can tell that 100 is more than a 70. So that is a pass. And we can drag it down here to simplify everything. Um, so we can see that Lola actually only failed two assignments, which is fantastic. And so that would be homework four and homework number one. So homework number one, homework number four. Perfect. So she can go back and look at that. And then we can also drag this across and down, and that fills out um, the entire chart right there. And this is a good way just to get um, you know a good look at uh, the pass and fail rate. But another thing we could do is actually divide it up even better into A, B, C, D, or Fs, what the grades are. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. We'll move this out of the way. And we're going to make a new chart. And uh, this one's going to be a little bit more complicated. It's called a nested if. And so we're going to have multiple if functions within one if. And it's um, it, it sounds hard, but it gets simpler as we work through. So we're going to start out with our first if function. And it's asking for the logical test. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom. Um, so in our case, if our cell or our number is less than 60, then it would be an F. If it's less than 70, it would be a D. Less than 80, it's a C. Less than 90, it's a B. And so on. And so we'll start it out like this. We'll grab our first logical test, so our corresponding cell. So if this cell is less than 60, then our value is an F. So just like that. So if, if that statement is true, our value of true, if, this, if it is less than 60, then it will come up as an F. So now instead of having a value if false statement next, we're going to do our comma and then put another if statement because we need another if true statement. So do your comma and then do your if statement. And so now we're gonna do if this cell, so the same corresponding cell, is less than 70. If it's less than 70, that means it's gonna be a 60 something. That means if this is true, if it's less than 70, then it will be a D. And so as we're looking down, we can see in this logical test right here, if it's less than 70, it will be a D, but if it's less than 60, it will be an F. So they kind of stack up on top of each other. And so we'll keep on going. We've done our, our value of true for our, our 70. So now we're gonna go 
we'll do another if statement. If you select the cell once more, the corresponding cell, if it is less than 80, then it is the value of true, it is a C if it is less than an 80. And then we'll continue to do this. Instead of doing a value of false, we, we do another if. If our corresponding cell is less than 90, the value of true will mean it is a B. Now, as opposed to doing another if statement for this last value, we can instead do a value if false. And I'll go ahead and plug that in as, as A. And the reason we could do this is we have set up this entire chain right here. And so it knows how to assign a certain um, value to a number if it's less than 60, if it's less than 70, less than 80, less than 90. And now all it needs is the numbers that are greater than 90. And so we can just add that to the value if false, because all of these are values if true. And the last thing we have is if this cell is less than 90, it's a B. But if it's, if it's not less than 90, it can only be between 90 and 100. So we can just use that false statement. If it's not less than 90, then it either it has to be 90 to 100. So it has to be an A. That has to be the false statement if it's not this right here. And don't remember or don't forget to cap off all those parentheses. There should be one for each one we used up here. We had four, four at the end. Hit enter. And there we go. Lola has an A on exam one. We can drag that down for her. And oop, there we go. And we have all her grades. And we can do that for everybody now. And so that's two ways that you can use an if statement and also a nested if, if you wanted to be more precise with what you're analyzing. All right, well, I hope that hope, or I hope that helped. Have a nice day.